You probably felt it. Maybe you did. A moderate earthquake rattled southern Vancouver Island this morning. The quake measured a magnitude of 3.2 and shook the region with two short jolts just after 8.30 this morning. Some folks still in bed at that hour slept right through it, but others who were at work or on the way felt the ground move from Bear Mountain to the Daffodil Fields in Sanishton. A News reporter Aaron Glazier has the story. These instruments are extremely sensitive and can record very minute levels of shaking. So this is this morning's earthquake recorded here in Sydney. At 8.36 this morning, the needles at the Pacific Geoscience Centre started swinging, capturing a 3.2 magnitude earthquake as it happened. The shaker hit roughly 50 metres below the crust of the ocean floor amongst the San Juan Islands. And while some slept right through it... Sleeping. <laughs> others felt it. I did. I was in bed. A very short tremor. Thoughts? Did it scare you? No, I was, my cats were there, and I, just, I thought it must be a tremor because they, they both looked up and, oh, yeah, it was, it was very, very short. Seismologists who study these everyday changes in the earth say it's a common occurrence, but that they only get people's attention once in a while. It, we shouldn't be worried, but it should, it should hopefully remind people that, again, that we live in an active earthquake zone, that there are uh, anywhere between 300 and 500 earthquakes around Vancouver Island each year. The frequent quakes are a result of living in a subduction zone as the Pacific Plate slides beneath the rigid North American Plate creating friction and releasing energy. But it's, it's that collision that's causing the North American Plate to be squeezed and to tilt and the different types of earthquakes in this region. Today's 3.2 magnitude earthquake is on the smaller side compared to the last major shake back in 2001 just under Seattle. That quake measured 6.8, a big difference, says Cassidy. Magnitude 3, people are just starting to feel an earthquake. If you go up to a magnitude 5, you're starting to see some broken chimneys, some very minor damage within the city. Uh, that earth of magnitude 5 is 100 times stronger than today's earthquake. Now let's go to a 7, so a Kobe, Japan, or a Haiti type of earthquake, 10,000 times stronger shaking. It's huge. If today's tremor would have been bigger, those who practice the drop, cover, and hold on drill as part of ShakeOut BC a couple of weeks ago would have been more ready. Still not everyone is getting the message on how prepared you need to be. I'm pretty sure I'm not fully prepared. I, I'm, I have some things ready, but um, not totally prepared, no. The largest earthquake on Vancouver Island hit in 1946 and was a 7.3 magnitude. And seismologists say it could be decades or centuries before the big one hits, or it could be tomorrow. In North Saanich, Aaron Glazier, A News.